All right, everyone, welcome. You all know the deal by now. So let's talk about Vermeil in Gold, this uh, show, which has a huge, huge title that, uh, man, it's, uh, so it's, it's Vermeil in Gold, and then there's like a subtitle that's like, Gakepukichi Maju Tsuchi Wa Saikyo no Yakusai to Maho Sekai wo Suki Su Musu. Man. I massacred that, and that did not sound well at all. Anyway, so it's about this boy and this demon lady, and this boy is really good at magic. But he's really bad at summoning magic. Until he finds a book with the uh, diagram for summoning, I forget, like a demon or something is what it says. And so he does it and he summons this lady and she's naked and is a demon. You know, it's one of the, uh, the etchy um, kind of pervy animes that you got out there. And so thanks to that he's able to move on to a grade because he has a summon now and if he didn't have a summon he was going to be held back <clears throat> that's basically it and you find out from the lady whose name is uh vermeil the, the namesake of the title she tells him the, the little boy named alto that the reason the other summons didn't work that he tried was because he has so much mana he looks like, uh, it's like too pure or something to the point where lesser summon beasts would die if they got mana from him because it's too pure or something. But since she's a demon, it's perfect for her. And guess how she charges her mana? Did you guess by being lewd and kissing and <clears throat> other stuff? Then yes, that's exactly how. It's one of those shows, everyone. So, uh... You'll frequently see her, like, rubbing up against him or whipping her tits out. Although, they do not actually be visible. You can see, like, the uh, under boob and the side boob and all that kind of stuff. But you don't see any, yeah, like, nipple or anything. It's one of those. But, yeah, it, it's, it's like that. So, anyway, it's the tale of Alto and his demon waifu as he, uh goes through school and attempts to basically become like the best mage in the world essentially because that's his, his goal and yeah they also have this uh blonde haired not blonde haired uh pink haired girl who uh has a crush on alto and her name is lilia she's also a very skilled mage and whatnot and uh she's in love with him she's kind of Sundere about it, but kind of not. It's complicated. Yeah. She doesn't like... She's more Dere than Soon, I would say. You know? But anyway, yeah, it's... it's that's the gist, I gotta say. There is one major thing that I do not like. And it's the background of the entire series. So... When I say background, I mean like the uh, buildings and trees and walls and landscapes. So there's another anime that does this this season as well, and I'll get to that one when I talk about it. But they have this, like, filter over the background that is literally just, like, uh, some, like, lines. It's like vertical lines. And it, I hate it. I wish they would just take the filter off so you can see the background perfectly and pristinely. And the, I mean, the characters themselves don't have this vertical line issue that the background does. I mean, I guess they wanted to make it seem like it was painted or something. It was like one of those painted backgrounds. But it, it's very obviously not, because if you're looking at the background moving, the filter doesn't move, but the background does. So it's really jarring and I hate it. I hate when they do that. And they put like a stupid little film of like a filter over the background. It's just so annoying. So, so annoying. But yeah. That's what this show's about. Um, I really wish that they would have given Vermeil a more like Onesan voice. 
she just kind of sounds like a normal girl, right? If she had, if she had like a more breathy, like ara ara voice, that'd be like just so perfect. Also, it's been two episodes, and they haven't gotten her any clothes that fit her, which I think is just weird. They're leaving her in this like black, way too small for her sweater. And I, I just cannot believe it. Like, I understand it's, it's an Esche anime. And they're like, we want to show off her titties and her curves. But, come on. Come on, really? Like, if you roll her, like, the, she doesn't even have a skirt on, okay? She's completely naked under this, like, sweater that goes down to, like, just below her crotch. It is insane. And she's getting away with wearing this in school with like middle school children. I think they're middle school kids. I don't remember how old they are. Yeah. It says they're in like their second year, but there's also like fifth year students. So it seems like middle school to me. I don't know. Anyway. I just find it hard to believe that they've knocked out in her, like, proper clothing yet. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for this one. Uh, what do we have next? That is indeed the question. What comes out tomorrow? Oh, perfect. Tomorrow we have a number of different shows. Uh, we have the Harem Labyrinth. We have the Isekai. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Isekai Ojo-san. Oji-san. Not Ojo. And then we also have... Uh, Mama Haha, which is a uh, kind of interesting, like, anime. It's like a... God, what's that one? Mm, the One Lovers anime that was, came out a while ago, uh, where the... Where the... main character banged a girl and then their parents got married and they became siblings and then he like banged her older sister too or something what was that one called whatever it doesn't matter it's the same principle as this one the mama haha where uh they move together it's funny anyway and then there was this one i just want to mention it because i'm not going to continue watching it called uh barao ars notoria son which is apparently based off of a game I think. And that one was not good. I did not like it. So I got like partway into the first episode and started skipping through it because I was like, is anything going to happen? Are they just going to like do nothing? So it wasn't great. I'm not even going to review it in its own review. It was not that great. <clears throat> and then after that, I think that is everything. That's all the anime. Yeah, because the rest of them are just like second seasons or... Actually, wait. Have I talked about the slime anime yet? Not that slime anime. Not the other one. Uh, Black Summoner, right? We got Black Summoner. There's Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. There's Call of the Night and Buchigire. Uh, the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting. And When Will Amiu... Ayumu? Make his move. Yeah, that one. So in total, we have 11, 10, 9. We have nine more shows to talk about this season. And uh, whew, some of them are just so great. Oh, no. I don't have a screenshot for that one, so 10, 10 more to talk about. It's going to be great. Anyway, look forward to the next episodes, everyone. And until then, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.